Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if there is a red cross X on the Y5 icon in your system tray in your Windows machine. Now, there are a couple of steps to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is to open the services window. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, go ahead and type services.msc and click on OK. This should open the services window on your computer, which will display the list of services which are running on your computer once you have the services window you will have to go ahead and locate for wlan auto config so you can do a right click on wlan auto config and then click on properties under properties make sure the startup type has been set to automatic and the service status is running once it has been set to automatic click on apply and then click on ok now on the same window you will have to to go ahead and look for another services which is called network connection it would be in alphabetical order so once you find the network connection you can do a right click and then click on properties make sure the startup type has been set to automatic and the service is running click on apply and then click on ok once this is done the next thing what you will have to do is you will have to make sure you have your network adapter enabled on your computer to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and and then click on device manager once you have the device manager open on your computer you will have to go ahead and look for the network adapters you can do a right click on the network adapters and then click on scan for hardware changes once that is done then you can go ahead and check for the faulty network adapter so in case if you see a red cross or if you see any of these options has been grayed out uh, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on those faulty network adapters and then click on update update driver once you see click on update driver it will take you to the update drivers window then choose the option which says search automatically for the drivers once you're on this window you may go ahead and click on close and close the device manager window restart your computer and check if you are able to connect to the uh, Wi-Fi or the internet connection now in spite of this if you're still seeing the red cross the next step what I would suggest you to do is to check for some of the required services related to the uh, connection so to do this you will have to open the services window by doing a right click on the start button and then click on run type services dot MSC once you have the services window open Open, you will have to check for the couple of services one of those services are TCP IP so TCP IP net BIOS helper you can do a right click and then click on properties under properties make sure it has been set to automatic and the service is running click on apply and then click on ok and the next services is wireless LAN so the same service the one which we had um, enabled earlier so you can do a right click and then click on properties make sure it has been set to automatic and the service status is running once this has been set click on apply and then click on ok and the next service is DHCP it would be in alphabetical order so you, I will also mention those services name in the video Video description once you locate DHCP client you can do a right click on the DHCP client and then click on properties make sure the service has been set to automatic and the service status is running click on apply and ok and then look for DNS client so you can do a right click properties and make sure the service startup type has been automatic apply and then click on ok and next look for function discovery so look it would be in alphabetical order you can do a right click properties make sure startup type has been set to automatic and the services is running so click on start click on apply and then click on ok and the last one is ssdp discovery so you can do a right click on the ssdp discovery click on properties make sure the startup type is being set to automatic and the service status is running click on apply and then click on ok once you have set everything you can close this window and the next thing is you will have to make sure you are Wi-Fi is being enabled do this you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run and type ncpa.cpl click on ok this should open the network connection window make sure you don't have any red cross here in case if you have a red cross do a right click and make sure the wi-fi has been set to enable so since my wi-fi is being enabled that's the reason i don't see an option to enable i have an option to disable it so you can do a right click and then click on enable and then check if you have a red cross button 
happens. So in spite of this, if you're still seeing a problem, on restart your computer and then try to connect to your Wi-Fi when this should fix a problem. So in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.